Hello everyone, I'm Rebecca Keppel. In today's video, I am focusing on mini slimline cards. If you've seen some of my recent videos, you know that I love slimline cards because the dimensions make it really easy to create some fun scenes. And I am one of those people who is guilty of thinking that everything that is teeny tiny is super cute. So let's take a look at the difference in size between a slimline card and a mini slimline card. The original slimline card that I'm sharing here is eight and a half by three and a half. And the mini slimline cards that I'll be making today are all three by six inches. So there's a vast size difference between the two. As far as envelopes go, the mini slimline envelopes that we'll be making today at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that, are three and a quarter by almost five and a half. And those large slimline envelopes that I purchased from my favorite things are nine and a half by four and a quarter. Now let's create a couple of mini slimline cards. So I've cut down a piece of white cardstock to three inches by six inches. Those are going to be my card panels. For the first mini slimline card, I'm using Sunny Studio Stamps. I have their pocket die and also their Color My World stamps and matching dies. Currently, this is out of stock, but they are going to get more, so sign up for that pre-order so that you can get yours. I am going to be using a bunch of different colors of ink to layer these stamps. These are the cutest layering stamps. They're also the easiest to use because each stamp is shaped like the crayon. So you simply line up one layer on top of the other. Then you have a stamp for the little stripes of the crayon and there's even a little crayon word that goes right in the center. Seriously, the easiest stamps to layer. Because like I mentioned, each stamp in the layering series is shaped like a crayon, a whole crayon. So it's very simple to know where to put the second layer and the third layer and the fourth layer when all the stamps are shaped exactly the same. The problem with layering stamps sometimes with flowers is that each stamp is shaped differently and so it's very difficult to determine where the next layer is supposed to go. But for these, like I said, super, super simple. So I stamped a bunch of those and then I die cut out the little pocket and now I'm putting the sentiment in black ink on the top of that panel. This is gonna be a vertical panel. For the pocket, you just fold in the little tabs. It's super, super simple, but it does kind of look like a little crayon box if you cut it out of kind of that yellowy orange. Once the tabs are folded, you can just put some adhesive on the top and then fold them back and then adhere them right down to your card and then you've got this little pocket. This could definitely, that's what it purposes is to use it for a gift card. You could just slide a gift card right in there. But for crayons, it kind of looks cute to have the crayons just slid right into the little crayon pocket box and then to have the sentiment on top. So I'm just going to use some tape runner on the back of each of these crayons to adhere them right inside the pocket and make sure that enough of the crayon is sticking out at least on the two on the edges so that you can see the words crayon and then I love that pretty sentiment that says you color my world. Once that was done I had trimmed that down to about two and three quarters by five and three quarters so that I could mat it on top of some black cardstock that was six by three. And I just love how cute these little cards look in that size. When you're creating the card base, just cut out a six by six piece of white cardstock and score it down at the three inch line there and then fold it, reinforce the score line. And then all that's left to do is place some adhesive on the card base and place your card panel on top of that. Super, super quick and simple once you get your crayons all stamped up and just a really fun way to use the mini slimline size. For the next card, I'm going to use Pretty Pink Posh and their Daffodils Stencil. I also have the stamp set and the coordinating dies. So I am going to use some Distress Oxide Squeezed Lemonade and Ink Blend on top of the stencil on some white cardstock. I'm giving myself plenty of room to add other elements to this and then I'm 
gonna die cut them all out. There is a cute little center for the flowers. There are some leaves and stems that you can all stencil instead of stamp and color in. I am gonna use the stamps on top just for some fun colorful outlines. So instead of stamping these in black ink, I'm going to stamp them in orange around the yellow and green, a darker green around the green leaves. Just something different instead of the black ink colored in. Now I'm going to put some purple tape on the dies and cut them all out. And then this panel is called the Pretty Petals cover panel die and I did cut it out. I know it's not six by six, but I'm just gonna use it over the center of the slimline card, adhere it down with some liquid glue, flip it over and then cut off this excess here. I absolutely love the look of the white on white die cut. Just looks so elegant. I'm going to be using a stamp set from Katherine Pooler, and you will see this in a video coming up soon, but I just did wanna share where I got the sentiment from that says get well soon. I popped up the flowers on some foam adhesive. These are the cutest little daffodils and I love the leaves. I just love their flowers at Pretty Pink Posh. They're just fun and kind of whimsical, super easy to create with because they're just so cute. Since the background die didn't cover the entire card panel, I did decide to cut down some very thin strips of gold glitter cardstock from My Favorite Things. So I used a very, very skinny one at the top and a slightly thicker one at the bottom just for a little bit of shine and accent and kind of pull the whole card together. Once again, for the card base, simply put a six by six piece of white cardstock in your score pal or other scoring device and score it at three inches, reinforce the fold, and then use some tape runner or other adhesive to adhere the panel down to that card base. And this is a slightly different look to the mini slimline, but just as fun. With this mini slimline card, let's go super cutesy. So I am using Trinity Stamps Monster Love Stamp Set. The nice thing about the mini slimline is that even though it is only three inches, either wide or tall, depending on the orientation, you do get that six, six inches in the other direction, which means I'm able to put three monsters on this card. So. It's just a different way of creating and thinking about how your card is going to turn out and the design of it. I am going to use some Copic coloring of these little monsters and I'm gonna have three different textures on them. So for the little green guy, I just colored in the background and then I'm adding the little dot texture to him. For the largest monster, he looks like he has fur on him. That's what those little lines at the top and the bottom. So I am adding a fur texture and I'm just doing that with tiny little flicks of the very tip of the marker and going over them with several colors of flicks. So starting with something as light as a B quad zero or a B triple zero and then going over it with several other colors and going back down to the lightest again so that it blends a little bit so it doesn't look like actual lines but that it still has that sort of textured look to it that it looks furry. And then I'll just color in his tummy normal. For the orange guy, I'm just going to do the kind of outline technique where I'm gonna color him in fully and then outline him with a slightly darker orange color and just to give him a, you know a slightly almost like glowing look from the inside of him. So these monsters have their own unique look for each of them. I did hold them in place with some purple tape and run them through my die cut machine to die cut them out. I am using a blue scalloped rectangle that is from the envelope die that we're gonna use at the end of the video to create the background for these guys and then I'm just popping them up. The cool thing about the little orange guy is his die cuts out his arms so you can glue a small heart or a little sign or something that he is holding in his arms. But I did pop him up as well after I put the heart inside his arms. And then I stamped the Miss You from the stamp set and cut it out with a uh, little heart that's also included in the die set. 
If you like the mini slimline card size as much as I do, you might be interested in a mini slimline envelope die like this one from Trinity Stamps. You only need one eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock to cut out the main elements of the Trinity Stamps mini slimline envelope dies. So I cut one of the center and two of the side flaps. And like you can see, I used one eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock. Then there's fold lines or score lines on each of the pieces so you just fold them down you'll be able to see exactly how it comes together in a second but I do like to customize my envelopes so for this one which is going to be the daffodils I'm going to stamp a little daffodil then fold up the flaps and make sure you are in the mountain fold position and add your tape runner to that part of the flap then flip it over and line it up on the centerpiece so that the fold is at the edge of the centerpiece. So again, you're gonna just line it up right in the center between the top and bottom flaps of the centerpiece and line it up on the very edge. And once that's done, then you just put a tiny bit of tape runner on one outside flap there. And that is going to allow you to put those two flaps together. I like to also add the bottom flap tape runner. This way everything can just be folded up all at once, one, two, three, super, super simple. I added some white gel pen accents to further customize the envelope and to really make it match the white and yellow of the card. This die set also comes with that scalloped rectangle. I'm gonna use it this time because for this envelope, I'm gonna cut it out of pattern paper. So I'm using Waffle Flowers, JJ's Rainbows patterns. You can see I can cut the center flap out of one piece and then the two side flaps out of another piece. Then I'm going to use some tape runner on the back of the rectangle and adhere it down to that top of the center flap. That will give me the ability to write the address on it if I so choose or to write the recipient's name. Again, I'm just gonna fold at all the score lines and reinforce those folds. You could use a bone folder for this. I didn't feel like it was necessary with the pattern paper is not too thick. So I'm, once I have all the fold lines, then I'm going to add the tape runner and I'm going to have the pieces in the mountain position, add the tape runner and then flip it over, line it up between the top and bottom of the centerpiece, but right at the edge. So the score line goes to the edge of that centerpiece. Again, when in the mountain position where the little peak is up, you add the tape runner, then flip it over and line it up in the center of that centerpiece there. Then just a tiny bit of adhesive on the edge and the bottom, and then fold everything up to create the envelope. And then you could use tape runner. There are also those little circle pieces that you could add string around in the die set as well. And you can see that your card fits perfectly inside. To customize the last envelope, I am just stamping a tone on tone monster. So I'm combining an ink and cardstock from the stamp market to create the outside of the envelope and my little monster card fits perfectly inside. If you love slimline cards, be sure to check out my entire playlist over here. If you wanna see more card making trends, techniques, and inspiration, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell so you can be notified every time I have a new video available. As always, I want to thank you so much for spending time with me today. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you again soon.